Hey everyone, in today's Photoshop video, I want to show you how to put image inside of text, exactly what you see here, and we're going to do it from scratch. So I'll go ahead to file and I'll create a new Photoshop file here, and I'll just choose one of them from film and video, and we'll do 1920 by 1080. I'll just double click this to create this project. Now this is gonna become my background, so I'm gonna make this whatever color I want. I could leave a white or even make it black. So to do that, I'm gonna come over to this side and I'm gonna choose the paint bucket tool. That's also the keyboard shortcut G. If yours is collapsed here, the toolbar, just go ahead and press these double arrows to get it to expand to the size I have. And I'm gonna change the foreground color, this box right here, I'm gonna click it to choose a color I want to paint my background. So let's just select one of these blue hues over here. I'll just bring my cursor to the corner and I'll press OK. And then I'll come here to my canvas and I'll just click to make my background blue. And now I have this layer on the side that says background blue. Let's create a layer by pressing the plus sign on the very bottom corner here to create a new layer on top of that layer. And if you're new to Photoshop, I do have a full training beginner's guide on Photoshop and I'll link that below this video. So on this new layer, we wanna put in our text. So I'm gonna choose the text tool again over here on the text panel or keyboard shortcut T. And go ahead and click here and then type in your word here. It looks like mine is very small, so I'm gonna make sure I select the whole text over here and I'll come on top and I have the options for editing my text. I'm gonna make this, I'm gonna type in a number here. I'm gonna make this 500 and I'm gonna press enter. And now it's a lot better. The size is getting a lot better. Then I wanna change my fonts. So a number of fonts are gonna work for this. I like this font called Roboto. So it's kind of a bold, nice font. I'll choose that. So now I'm a lot closer. And I'm gonna actually retype this. I'm gonna just press delete. This time I'll put the cap lock on so it's all in bold letters. Now I'm gonna select this text one more time. I'm gonna just change it to bold on this dropdown. I'll make it bold. And now it's a lot easier to see behind it and I'll press the check mark up here. And now if I select my move tool, I could go ahead and move this to the center of the screen. And if you ended up a little bit bigger, I could double click on it and then go ahead and just change the text to be a little bit smaller. I'm gonna make it 450 and I'll press enter. And then again, I'll select the move tool and I'll kind of move it right in the center. So now we want the third layer, which is gonna be the image we want as the background. I already have that open on a different tab. I got this from pixels.com, so you could get a lot of royalty free images there. And I'm gonna drag this background. I'm gonna bring it to this new file and I'm just gonna drop it right on top while I hold shift. If you hold shift, it basically just makes it right perfectly center in your image. And it ended up being the same size as my canvas. It was 1920 by 1080, so that's why it looks exactly right. Now to put this inside of that text, all I have to do is right click on this layer or control click on a Mac, and I'll have this selection called Create Clipping Mask. Click that, and just like that, it put that image inside of the text. But the great thing about it is, with that layer selected, that Chicago skyline layer, I could go ahead and press the move tool again up here, V, the shortcut for it, and I could move that image within my text. You could see it will turn black if I move it too far, but I could pretty much move it down or up or whatever I think looks best for this. I could even go ahead and grab the corners and resize it if I had more room over here and then place it exactly where I want and press the check mark. Another benefit to this is the text layer Chicago, you could double click this and you could type in anything here now. It's very editable. It doesn't have to be the word Chicago or whatever word you put in there. It could be whatever word I wanna put in after I made my decision. And I could still double click and make the selection here. So I just double click the word T here and made sure the selection is highlighted. And I could come up here and I could just go ahead and select this text and press the down arrow. And it will show me how this looks in a bunch of different fonts. And then I could go ahead and make those edits. So I don't have to choose the right font right away. I could just go ahead and do that. Maybe I like this font better. I'll press the check mark. And let's say I don't like the background color now that I made this selection. So what do I do? Well, I could select my background and change the color. But let me show you this other option. I'm gonna go ahead and unlock this layer, click this lock icon, and then double click over here just in the blank area. And then you're gonna get the layer style panel here. 
And this panel basically lets you put different colors with the color overlay. So if you check that on and you highlight it, it's going to put whatever color this is. I don't want to do that. I want to do gradient overlay. So I'm going to select this one and make sure the checkbox comes on and this is highlighted. And I have a bunch of options here. So let me reset to default already. So this is the default one that you'll get if you've never used this layer style before. And that's basically changing my background. And I could go ahead and change that gradient if I click on it. There's a bunch of different folders, for example, I could choose from. So I could go and change my background however I want. There's a bunch of preset colors over here. I like these gray ones, for example. And then you could press OK. And I'll press OK on this. And since I'm showing you layer styles, let's go to the Chicago layer. Instead of double clicking the T to edit the text, I'm going to just double click over here on the blank area. And that's going to give me my layer style again for the text. And I could make the text beveled, for example, if I select this, this is highlighted, this is checked on, and now you see the beveled edges on there. I could even turn on drop shadow. If I turn that on, I get a drop shadow behind it. And again, any of these you could reset to default to get the default values that Photoshop gives you if you don't like the values that you're getting. And you could go ahead and change the size and all the different settings that layer styles have inside of each one of these panels. So bevel is going to have all these different types of settings here. So I'll go ahead and just reduce that. We don't want a lot of bevel and drop shadow is going to have all these settings. So if I want a much bigger drop shadow, I could go ahead and change it. I could change the angle of the drop shadow. So a lot of different things you could do inside of Photoshop with your three different layers that you have selected here. But it's this simple to put an image inside of text in Photoshop. Again, if you want to learn more about Photoshop, I do have a 10 chapter course on it and I'll link to that below this video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next video.